currently when patients are admitted under acute care, they are referred to allied health uh, at an ad hoc basis if we pick up issues such as mobility, nutrition and weight loss, as well as polypharmacy. And there is no consistency to this process. We hope that with the frailty initiative, we are picking up this much earlier during the mission and that we address the risk factors for frailty, such as polypharmacy, nutrition and strength and weight lo loss, as well as uh, reduced mobility. The top benefit of the frailty screening I've found is being able to work with uh, the team that's on the ward. Um, they're working in conjunction with the regular team and to provide uh, intervention to patients that have been screened as being frail and to start this earlier. Uh, a specific example of where I found the frailty screening has benefited is helping me to refocus on a patient and looking at their uh, nutritional intake and what support they need to help strengthen their muscles. We know that by doing this much earlier we can potentially reduce the complications related to frailty uh, such as pressure care and pressure sores related to immobility, weight loss and malnutrition which may affect wound healing as well as the overall complication process and further infections in hospital and we would like to roll this out and have a continuity of this in the community with um, implementation and in hospital and ongoing care with the GP.